It's the Easter season leading up to Pentecost, and we have this devotion for you. There's a popular exclamation prayer of the season that has its answer, and then when you give the answer, there's, a, there's an echo back. This is how it goes. The Lord is truly risen. He has risen indeed. He has risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia. Let's try that with you all, okay? The Lord is truly risen. He has risen indeed. He has risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia. And now just repeat after me. This is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. And be glad in it. And be glad in it. That's a verse out of uh, the Psalms that predicts the great day of Easter or the Lord's day when he comes among us. And when Jesus rose from the dead and everything about Jesus' ministry falls into place and is all true. Because the resurrection means everything about Jesus' life. And then after the resurrection, he does all these amazing things leading up to an ascension and Pentecost. And we're going to think about that as we go through your short exercises in the Easter season. And so let us get started. It is the seventh week of Easter. And we are in your book on 279. You know you're on the right page if you see this beautiful new butterfly. See the butterfly and it's on a flower. You know I'm going to make up what kind of flower that is. Mrs. Stever, I'm going to say it's an Alleluia Petunia. Oh, I <laughs> like petunia. that. Alleluia Petunia. Alleluia Petunia. That's great. Yeah. I like that. Faith focus. What is the ascension of Jesus? Well, the disciples took him up a mountain and they said farewell. And then Jesus gave them a few words of instruction to follow him and spread the good news and share the story. And then he flew up into the sky, very much like a butterfly. Jesus returns to his father 40 days after Easter. The risen Jesus led his disciples outside Jerusalem. He reminded them that he had suffered, died, and was raised to new life. Jesus said that they should share this good news with everyone. Jesus blessed them and returned to his Father in heaven. The church celebrates the day the risen Jesus returned to his Father. We call this day the Feast of the Ascension. And look at page 280. Okay, this activity, sing to high heaven. Sing the song using the melody from Verjaka. Oh, well, let's do that as our okay. closing prayer, that okay? That would be fun, yes. We'll do it as our closing prayer. And then you can teach the song to your family and your friends. Ready? He is risen, he is risen, yes he is, yes he is. He will come in glory, he will come in glory, yes he will, yes he will. Sound the trumpet, sound the trumpet, he ascends, he ascends. We await the Spirit, we await the Spirit, yes we do, yes we do, a little higher. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come to us, come to us, 
He will come and guide us. He will come and guide us. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Thanks. Amen. When we think of Easter season, we think of the Resurrection Day, Easter Sunday, and then we go all the way up to the Ascension and then to Pentecost, 50 days later after Easter. The beginning of the story is this, that on the first day of the week, meaning Sunday, where the disciples were, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. And when he said that, he showed them his hands and his side. And the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus, in his resurrection appearance, said to them again, Peace be with you. Now as the Father sent me, so I send you. And he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Now many days later, Jesus was with them along the Sea of Tiberias, the Sea of Galilee. And he revealed himself in this way to Simon Peter, Thomas, Nathaniel, and James and John, and two other disciples. They were out fishing, and Jesus called out to them from the shore, Children, have you caught anything to eat? And they answered him, No. He said, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. And they cast it, and there were so many fish, they were not able to pull it in for the number of fish. Now, the disciple whom Jesus loved, John, said to Peter, It is the Lord. Simon Peter jumped from the boat and came to the shore with the other disciples later coming in the boat, dragging along a net with many fish. And Jesus said, Let's come and have breakfast. They all realized it was the Lord, and Jesus cooked the bread and gave it to them, and likewise the fish. And they remembered his miracle of the bread and the fish earlier in their ministry. You know, later they, they go to the mountain for the ascension, and then Jesus said, I'm sending the Holy Spirit now to you. This is my finished work to live inside of you. And so that work is what we're praying for as we go through the Easter season, for the Holy Spirit of Jesus to live in us and through us and to give us power to be children of God. Mr. Stever, do you have that prayer? Yes, let's close with the prayer to the Holy Spirit, and it's found in the back of your book, though many of you may know it. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Amen.